Carrier Flight Ship and Cannon Ship, Sky Shredder and Flying Fortress, Apache Prime, Chinook, and Comanche Defense, Artillery Battery, Balloon Exclusion Zone, Archmage, Wizard Phoenix, and Prince of Darkness, Sun Temple, Anti Balloon, and Dark Champion, Monkey Wall Street, and Monkeyopolis. Can you guess what all these cameras have in common? This time, I won't tell you guys until maybe a minute or two later. I'll leave you guys uh, to speculate or think about what it is. Hint, you're probably not gonna get it. If you do, I'll be wildly impressed, but anyways, let's begin. I'm just gonna see how long I can survive with these towers, because you see, we got some pretty epic late-game towers out there, including a Paragon even enabled. So all in all, it should be spicy. We even have some farms enabled, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that as soon as possible. I guess I'll just tank the lives. Uh, in the name of greed, I think I will do that. And I know it probably hasn't been a minute yet, but okay, I'll tell you guys. The theme with this challenge is that all the upgrades enabled are upgrades who, whose icons match what the tower is. So like, for example, with the Buccaneer, we have the Carrier Flagship, that, whose icon is literally the Carrier Flagship itself. Now, one exception I made was to the Cannon Ship. It doesn't match it, but I thought it was kind of funny to add because it's basically a bomb shooter. So in other words, the icon of another tower. And same with, as you see, a Sky Shredder and the Flying Fortress, so on and so forth. Now, there actually are some upgrades before anyone mentions, uh, wait a minute. How come some things, like for example, Beast Handlers are enabled? Like, don't all these upgrade icons match the upgrade itself? Well, the answer is yes, but I had to draw the line somewhere, and that line is... Uh, has to be a full body, so that's why, for example, if I head over to the Super Monkey section, I've gotten rid of the True Sun Guy, which only has a head, but stuff like, for example, Sun Temple is allowed, Legend Knight not allowed, but Dark Champion, it's got its full body, is also allowed. Otherwise, I think without that restriction, it would just be too loose, and it'd basically just be, like, me playing Fire Range Hard with almost no restrictions, if you know what I mean. And also, another restriction is that sub-towers, quote-unquote, like, as up upgrade icons aren't allowed for, so, for example, the Sentries of the Engineer. It's not the Engineer itself, so it is banned. So, based on all that criteria, this is the final loadout I have uh, come to restrict, so with that, let's try to enjoy the challenge. Don't mind me pulling some boss shenanigans so I can greet a little bit harder. We've somehow been able to beat the first 25 rounds with only a 1-1-0. Oh, and I think the plan is here, I will go for a marketplace this round. And I should be able to get hot shots next round. Yep, right on time, looking good. And I think I'll just turn this one to a cannon ship and then stop there. I think, because we have Monkeyopolis enabled, I definitely want to go for the 1-4 uh, Monkeyopolis. AK Miniopolis also. Uh, uh, camos, I think. The cheapest thing is probably a 002. But we, this one has to be the Careflex ship. Well, actually, no, it could be Cannon ship too. Uh, yeah, I don't want to spend too much money in case I, uh, you know, need it for something more important. So we'll just get this thing to uh, rape. That does better against, you know, the early game camos, anyways. You know, it's been five years since this game came out, and I only realized just now that the cannon ship icon is as simple as it gets. Ninja Kiwi getting a little bit lazy here with uh, their upgrade icons, but I, uh, I'll i cut them some slack because they had to make, like, 200 plus for this game. So I guess they're allowed to go a little bit chill on uh, one of them. Anyways, did you guys notice, again, I mentioned this earlier, but a lot of the towers in this challenge are, uh, like, tier 5s. I guess that's when they get good enough to, you know, have the privilege of... Uh, being able to get a nice full body snapshot. So by all intentions, I'm gonna try to go late game with this. Now, uh, I don't know what to do for around 40, because obviously can ships aren't giving me enough. I guess I could just turn this one to a uh, carrier flight ship. But you know what I'll do instead? Uh, let's just go for a wizard. D breath is very good mid game. I'm gonna have to turn this one to a uh, wizard phoenix, but that's fine. This is kind of a head start in the wizard paragon anyways, because I wanna get high degree then. This is the way to do it. Get some pops on the Wizzy. Okay, it's probably more efficient to sell the uh, marketplaces now for the uh, Mini Monkey Office. So let's end this round. Let's sell, sell. And let's get it. 50% extra cash. We can go ahead and sell. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go all in on the uh, everything under the Mini Monkey Office here. So let's just get the can ships to get that criteria out of the way. And uh, let's just get another uh, purple popping wizard later. Uh, I'm a bit late on my uh, Necromancer, but... I think I'll just tank these lives here. I can make the back with the marketplace anyway, so not a big deal. I also probably should have just uh, capped the amount of villages in this challenge at one because Monkey Office is the only thing that has itself 
as the icon. Actually, bigger radius. No, no, that was right. That was right. I think that does count towards the icon. So in that case, I think I am. Uh, I should be able to go for a village here. Uh, I didn't budget good space. Let's just do it here and uh, let's get it. I know it doesn't match the village, but it's close enough. That's about as far of a line as I'll tow. It honestly probably didn't do much because I think I could have fit the same amount of farms under it. But anyways, there still are some upgrades like that are not like the max upgrade that still have themselves as the icon. For Wizard though, I think it's just the tier fives and the Paragon itself. I know the Ace Paragon as the Goliath Doomship, which is itself as an icon, but because Sarbama isn't banned, or is banned, I think I'll just go ahead and say no to the Goliath Doomship. Also, uh, nobody saw this. I'm actually not supposed to go for Central Markets because they... It's only Marketplace and the, the Wall Street, I believe. I'd say Wall Street icon matches the tower close enough, so let's get it. And that's pretty much the maximum farm you can do, unless I want to go for a, a big Monkeyopolis sacrificing a bunch of Marketplaces. I'm not sure about that. Actually, hold that thought. There's there is one more farming option, quote-unquote, that some people might not think of when it comes to farming, and that is the Sun Temple. If I go for support, I think at max I can get 5k per round. You know, all for the low cost of 100,000 for the temple itself, and then attack another 50k for sacrifices. So I don't think you need 50k fully for the 20% uh, the discount, but I still think I get it for the... Uh, you know, the full damage buff, support damage buff. If I get it early enough, I should be able to make back the amount of money that I spent on it. Especially since, again, I'm going pretty deep in here. So, uh, I think we'll have plenty of time to make profits. Gotta make sure not to sacrifice the wizards, though, because I do want the head start on the pops. Because uh, the only icons are the tier 5s. I don't even think I'm allowed to go for the, you know, the uh, lower tier to get degrees on the wizard paragon. At least I'm gonna not allow myself to do that. Therefore, all the degrees gonna get is gonna be purely in pops. Maybe I should have put my... Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have put the Sun Temple, like, in range of the balloons at all. I probably should have put it a little bit lower. So it could be a pure support sack. Uh, personally, I'd say it's not too late to buy it again, even though I lost a little bit of money doing so. Let's try to math up 50k support now. Oh, wait a minute. It's gotta be only marketplaces, because that's the only uh, tier 3. Or the most expensive thing that's not a Wall Street. I guess I could... Just sack the Wall Street if this doesn't add up to a 50k, but we'll see first. I mean, I guess there's no harm in going for more range, because uh, I can get these back for a cheap cost anyways. In fact, even cheaper because of the, uh, well, support sacrifice, so sure. Let's do one more. I don't know if that one's in range. I don't want to sacrifice the uh, Monkey Alpha, or do I? No, I don't think I do. If I do the math right, though, nine marketplaces should get me the money to be fully maxed, so let's do it. A nice early round 75 temple. Honestly, boss events have spoiled us in terms of how much we are able to farm. Like, I'm honestly taking it pretty chill, all things considered, for this run. But the amount of money that I'll be able to snowball this will just be absolutely nuts. I think I should, if I want to create just a little bit further, even though it's pretty inefficient, just go for a big uh, monkeyopolis. Again, given enough rounds, we will eventually make our money back. So here we go, gobble up, and how much money is this making? Only 5... 5600 around. Yeah, pretty weak efficiency, but that is good enough. Let's just get all tier 5 wizard monkeys now, and under the support temple for uh, cheaper monies. Uh, also, crap, I did a little bit of trolling here. This... these two wizards aren't in range of the... Uh, the monkeyopolis. So that means I'm not getting any extra money now. Oops, well, uh, hopefully... Uh, that's still fine. As long as the majority of the damage goes on the Archmage, I guess, we'll be okay, but we probably lost a couple thousand dollars at this rate. <laughs> Maybe not too significant compared to the 250k that we've already saved up. By the way, even if I'm able to afford the Magus, uh, I do want to wait for 16.2 million total pops. So that means, uh, I think I, uh, if I do the math, if all your words got every single pop starting from round 1, you would need to wait until at minimum, like, round 130 to be able to satisfy the pop criteria. So, I obviously know this is not going to be strong enough to make it. So, we should probably get some towers to help out. I was thinking maybe going for a second support temple. Or rather, a temple actually for damage. Because uh, I didn't go for any magic support or military support. Obviously, because I wanted pops right now. But I should go for one on the side once you start failing the stuff. In fact, maybe I should have just done multiple support temples. It's actually 6k per round because of the monkey city buff. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know why I stopped at 1. I could have done like 1 on the bottom left here, but that's too late. I think we have enough money to uh, 
work with anyways. We should be fine. Good news, though, is that the Support Sacrifice Temple carries pretty hard. I think without it, these three wizards definitely would have died by now. But it's pretty nice having, like, plus, what, two damage, 20% attack speed, and a bunch of pierce. That's what Support Temple provides. And yeah, no surprise that we already have enough for uh, Magus now with this farming. It's actually a good choice to have gone for the bigger Machiopolis, seeing that it's already paid itself off threefold, even though it was an incredibly inefficient uh, Machiopolis. Uh, let's see, how is our BAD damage? I think it's good enough to beat the first bad. I think we need some more uh, support now. Yeah, we leaked to, like, some Serams. And now we're actually dead. Okay. Well, nothing a little Dark Champion can't fix. I think I'll just do this for now instead of going for, uh, I guess, the Temple I was talking about earlier. Just because I think the mil like the global stuff will take more pops away from the uh, Wizard Paragon. Meanwhile, this thing, I can probably sh shift it a little bit lower so it... Doesn't reach too high, because, yeah, I just need a little bit of damage, and... Yeah, it's enough to beat 119 there. Hell, even the Support Temple is joining in the action with 106k pops. Uh, 630 on the Dark Champion. If we just want to do some quick maths here... 5 million, 8 million, 11.5. Yeah, we're actually still a ways away. Actually, pop counts go kind of crazy now. 4 million uh, equals 9 million, then... Yeah, we're almost at 16. This just in. Later rounds get you more pops. Who would have thunk it? Uh, I think there's enough now, so let's do it. Right before round 140 comes in. This is the max we can get. 69. All part of Ninja Kibi's plan, of course. So as you know, even with a bug fix, the Wizard Paragon is still uh, not to be relied on, especially when it drops down to uh, zero power. I'd love to have it for, to be an armchair tower, because, I mean, it's too early right now to have to require me to mic for this thing, so we should, uh, yeah, we have enough money to build anything we want. So let's just start working on that tier 4 temple I was talking about early. So we want a 0 one, 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 50k of military, magic, and supports. Yup, this is good. Let's get it. You also might notice I dropped lives because, again, the unreliability. I think I leaked DDT as well. This thing was charging up its thingy, but hopefully with this temple, we should do a little better now. I'll do a 4-2-0, and then I should get back a Monkeyopolis. Not for the money, but just to give it, like, some cam detection. There we go. Actually, no, that's the wrong idea. I should be going for a Jungle Jumps, and then what I should do is I should go for the Shimmer. That way I get the 15% attack speed. And is it just me? I just realized that I'm pretty sure the Whisper Gun doesn't give you the Shimmer attack. SMH, no, not a true 555 wizard. If that's the case. And to match the left side, let's go ahead and get a temple uh, over here now. Also, are you you gotta be kidding me. I really don't want to micro this tower this early on, but it's the beam attack. The thing is, like, if you don't micro it, it basically uses the beam all the way up to max again. So that's, like, a massive downtime where you have no damage on the uh, whiz gone. If only there was, like, some sort of smart targeting where it would, uh, you know, toggle off the beam if a balloon got a certain amount of past rock. I think that would be a nice... Like, quality of life change to it. To help out all our fellow noobs or people who are too lazy to uh, do micro like myself because I'm busy building another temple. Uh, didn't sacrifice this one. Very awesome. Anyways, let's finalize our defense. So, uh, I need to go for the uh, best and most expensive things, finally. So, that would be Anti Balloon and then a big plane down here. Sure, I think we'll do a Bez 2. And I'm pretty sure it's just a Dark Champion spam from here. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that out DPS is like an Arc Mage, uh, probably Wizard Phoenix. Uh, I don't know about Apache Prime, but I guess I'll get it anyways for uh, variety's sake. Get the whole gang up. Okay, the more towers I add, the Lager gets though, so uh, I think I'll just stop here for now. And then add more if necessary. Oh, and also just to confirm with you guys too, this is a uh, full body portrait. Yes. Think of it as the anti balloon is looking at you from, you know, a top down view. And uh, I think in that case, I would consider it not just a head. Anyways, I think we're at the point now where we kind of have the micro between... Oh, crap. Micro between the laser beam and the phoenix. Because, uh, like, I think even if I spam the Mavatar champions, the majority of the damage is going to be on the Magus. So I should put them back in range also. I just put them out of range early for like reasons, but they might be needed now. I guess since these Dark Champions are really low, I think maybe the bottom row can be reserved for uh, global range towers, but again, I'm pretty sure I've already maxed my DPS. I'm gonna get like 0.1% more DPS for uh, 10 times more lag if I fill out the entirety. So I think we just gotta rely on 
with his abilities to keep us alive. Keep us alive until round 200, that is the plan. Whisper Gun's actually pretty good in this map because of the Phoenix Explosion. All the zombies overlay, like, pretty much the entirety of the track, so... We're getting a lot of damage in. I think I'll use a Metamorphosis to clear out. 191, bad here. It's getting pretty far. Come on, beat this round and we have a date with the round 200 F bad. Uh, seeing how far that got, I'm... Not overly confident. Yeah, let's try to... Let's use... Let's blow the Phoenix Explosion ability. Hopefully it comes back up again for around... 200. I don't like how far this bat has gotten. Both of these bats have gotten. I think I'm dead. Oh yeah, it's so close. If only I had a Legend of the Night to save me. Okay, let's try to use the level explosion a little bit later then. So let's try to get all four bats here with that. And let's see. I, I can't see. Maybe I should lower projectile size. Yeah, I'll do I'll do that. There's just too much shit on the screen. Uh, I think we're good though. Nice. So not fully charged up come 200, but at least we have both abilities up. So Let's just get this out of the way, because, again, one zombie counter, uh, 100,000. The only difference is the amount of zombies UMG is. Uh, I think I need to use a Metamorphosis here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 80,000 in the bank. Store it up. And, uh, yeah, we beat it. I think that actually saved us, that Anime Balloon ability. I don't know if we have enough for this the second one, though, because I don't... I didn't use the Phoenix Explosion on it, because I'm busy with the uh, Metamorphosis. Yeah. Or I'm not sure what kind of balance of abilities I need to beat. 200, but we'll give it a couple more attempts, but this could be the end. Okay, I guess what I'll do here is I will use Metamorphosis earlier. I'll set it back on first for the DOT that spawns now. Uh, back on strong. But no, I, I think the DOT just comes in too late. I'll just quickly drop a couple Panic Dark Champions. Actually popped. Maybe I need to, like, get a freaking anti bloom to beat those GTs there, and I think we can probably blow back the ZMGs. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good plan. So here's what I'm talking about. Let's get rid of the anti bloom now. Let's get a new one quickly. And then, time it for when it pops. Okay, it doesn't do enough damage. Oh, also, I forgot Kyrie Flick Ship. That might help a little bit for the uh, Flying Fortress damage. Maybe. So again, let's get back the Anti Balloon here. And uh, that's about as much as I can do. It popped later this time. Hm. Strange. Well, not nice with Sparagon. I think I've had enough of this. I'm gonna end it here. Definitely one of the theme challenges of all time. And <laughs> definitely scraping the bottom of the bale here also. But yeah, if you guys have any other uh, ideas for uh, theme stuff, then let me know. Otherwise, have a very portraited day.